All right, we are at New York Comic Con, and today we're gonna check out the comic books. So let's go inside, we'll check out the vendors, we'll check out, look for some exclusives, we'll see some wall books, and uh, it should be a good time. And I'll check out maybe uh, some of the displays also, like eBay and stuff like that. So let's go, go inside, and check it out, and today we're gonna New York Comic Con comic books. Let's check it out. Wonder Woman on violin. <laughs> There's her Venmo. Help her out. She is playing her heart out in the subway system. And here we go, 2022, New York Comic Con, let's go! Great book right here, The First Court of Owls, Batman New 52, right? To start off the video here. And they have plenty of back issues. Midtown Comics has an awesome booth here. They have the Ring of the Nibelung. They have the Ring Cycle, first appearance of Wagner. They have that in comic form. And then we have Hulk 181, Spectre. Uh, something is killing the children. This wall is banging here. And as you can see, they have uh, First Silver Age Shazam. They got First Doomsday, little Punisher action. And you saw in the beginning, they had all those trade paperbacks. We got anime here, we got some Crunchyroll. Chainsaw Man has a bloody, bloody environment here. All right, and we got uh, Comics Elite has uh, New York Comic Con exclusives. They got some Wolverine, some Joker, a bunch of death metal and a bunch of uh, deceased and DC stuff. Look at that Wonder Woman, it's awesome, right? We just saw Wonder Woman in the opening. And here we have uh, some more death metal. And look at that deceased, that's terrific, right? <laughs> Metropolis has a terrific booth here, and they are bringing out the bangers. And these books look terrific in the cases, right? They're like shining, all the colors are popping off of the uh, covers. We got first Punisher, first Spidey. We got some classic Captain Americas, look at this. And we have uh, first Vision there, right in the middle. First Hulk, that's a rare book. A little Avengers action. Fantastic FF1. Ghost Rider, right? That book blew up last year, right? It's still holding on. Uh, Hulk 181. And look at this. If you don't want to do cosplay, you can come here and this company does it for you. And she looks fantastic. Walking Dead. And that company will put the makeup on for you. And we're back at Metropolis and they have a bunch of uh, romance books. 
Oh, little Larry Hama here. Little G.I. Joe 9.8. Look at this. Some classic Archies, Captain Marvel. All right, they got some great books here. And you will never see so many books together. Turtles 1. So many high-end books together that you will see on a con, you know? On a major con, like, like the New York Comic Con. So it's kind of cool. I thought I would film some of the uh, high-end books. And then we can go digging later, right? If you guys want to go through some of the uh, bins and we'll check out what the vendors have. And these are some terrific books here, right? Look at this. Another Amazing Fantasy 15. They're all over. And here is a selfie booth. Look at this booth. Selfie in the coffin. All right, let's play a little music and we'll look at some more books in Metropolis. Let's go. early Supermans and action comics they really look terrific and I love seeing those early detective comics too right they look so awesome so cool and more uh, AF-15s look at them first Spider-Man Hulk 196 Hulk 181 look at this and the colors are really popping off of the covers right the colors are really popping on these books they did a good job cleaning them here Superman 1 Early action comics there. More Turtles 1, right? That one's signed. Got the yellow label. And we got Green Lantern. Uh, shoot, is that Dr. Fate he's shooting? They don't remember each other from the JSA? What's going on there? What was that, Silver Age? All right, we have a little turtle section with some uh, action figures. All right, and we got Torpedo Comics, right? Out from Vegas. One of the bigger shops in the States, right? And they have a beautiful booth here. A ton of nice books in the glass here. We got uh, Batman versus the Monk. We got Two-Face on the left there. A 9-4 too. First Raza Ghoul. All right. Batgirl, first Batgirl, right? First Star Wars. Everybody's bringing out the big boys, right? The heavy hitters. Nothing but bangers at the New York Comic Con. All right, now have a cool wall here. And we got uh, Taskmaster, Secret Wars, first uh, Spider-Man black costume, right? First Iron Man, Punisher, FF1. All right, all the classics. Ultimate 4 all 4 That was what, uh, cover B, or was that? Uh... And we got the uh, first Captain America, Silver Age.
Detective Comics number two, huh? How cool is that? Right next to Year One Batman, and that one's signed. Was that was that signed by Frank Miller? And we got uh, Javon Jordan doing some signings, and he usually has some exclusive uh, books for Neo Comic Con and some exclusive variants. Victory Comics, they have a huge booth here and plenty of long boxes for you guys that love to go long box digging. You can go uh, long box diving all day here. <laughs> and let's go through this. I'll show you guys what they have in here, what kind of books. And uh, got some Alpha Flight, right? A few Canadians out there. <laughs> and these are regular price books for regular people. We are out of the glass cases and we are in the long boxes. That was legitness. And uh, Victory was here um, the past couple of years, and last year they were here too, and they had a ton of uh, long box like they do now. I guess they they appreciate that people like to go long box digging. Here is eBay. eBay has some books in some glass spinning around. Very nice, right? Me TV is here. Lost in space. A little Transformers action. A Venom statue. Look at that. So cool. And here is that eBay case again. The other side was Thunderbolts. All right, Sumerian has a table here. They have a booth, and I'm not familiar with them. It's saying California. I guess they are like a um, Newberry Comics, but on the West Coast. Is that what this is like? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not familiar with them. And here is Whatnot taking on eBay as the prime auction house for comic books, right? Collector's Cave out of the Bronx. Bruh. And they have a really nice booth here. Some really cool books, some trending books. Boom. And we can go uh, diving in their box here. Here's a cool box here. And they're marked, they're priced uh, as marked. Got a little Batman New 52. It says Second Court of Owls. All right, awesome, man. And here is Rebirth Batman. And is this coming up is what punchline or here's a miracle Molly. All right, very cool box here. Is that a Jim Lee cover? And here's abyss, right? Abyss. And look at that terrific Mandalorian, right? Those covers are great. And we got uh, a 181 reprint there, right? Was that 30 bucks? All right, Miles Morales, Last Ronin, Ultimate Spidey. Right, very trendy books here. All right, and Marvel has a mystery box. You guys know about this, the Marvel mystery boxes? It looks like it's not just comic, comics, but an assortment of uh, paraphernalia. They got Star Wars. They are all themed, too. Look at all this. Look at all these boxes they have. And here is Paul's Comics and Collectibles. Thought I'd give a shout out if they had a sign. I thought I'd film the sign. And they have some nice uh, adventure comics. And this place is packed, man. The Javits Center for New York Comic Con is crowded. And the comics are primarily in one, one section of the room. And uh, Ultimate Fallout 4, ASM 300. Giant sized X Men, right? All the usual suspects. First, uh, Beta Ray Bill, uh, Thor there, Silver Surfer 1. And the prices are nice and clearly marked in this booth here. Is that the first Red Hood, that Batman? That Star Wars book is so hot, right? Trying to zoom in so you guys can get a good look. And the pricing is uh, this booth has them. Um, pretty clearly marked and IDW is across from us and cosplay became a hazard for a while look at this the inner geek they have uh, slabbed books galore they have cases and cases of long boxes of uh, slabs and this is golden age romance how cool is this huh a whole romance box.
And you don't see these around so much, right? At a con, it's nice. You can just cherry pick whatever you want to look at because everything is at, uh, available at a larger con. Sweethearts. <gasps> these books have these lower grades, like 3.5, but the colors are popping off them. I don't know if they have them cleaned and pressed or the casing does the job there. But they just look so, uh, they look much higher grade, don't they? Oh. All right, we got a little, uh, is that first, uh, or the death of, uh, what was that? Death of Gwen Stacy, right? Oh. Daddy, chill. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! And we have a little 70s, uh, 1970s graded. Those will be the next hot comics, right? It's 60s are pretty hot right now. 60s Marvel and DC, but I think I think we're gonna start moving into 70s. They're gonna start getting really blown up. That Morbius book was so hot for that movie when it came out, right? They must clean off these cases, right? Everything is so shiny and nice looking. Daddy, chill. Classic. Look at this crime suspense stories. <laughs> Didn't they use this book in the trial with the guy hung? Just a balls out cover, man. Oh, was that the guy with no head they used in the trial? Look at that hanging right on the cover, man. I think they have the the headless one too. Police against crime. Another crime suspense stories. Crime does not pay. Look at this. Giant size X-Men. 7 0 is going for four grand. X-Men 1. Alright, it's cool to see all these books together, right? In one case. A little strangulation. For some mariner. Or the first Loki, right? All right, like and subscribe if you like the content here. I went to the con because uh, I'm local, so New York Comic Con is pretty easy for me to go. So I thought I would film it. All right, bring my camera in for my channel. No! And the old trade dress for Thor's look great, right? And that Ghost Rider blew up last year, right? And it's still holding on. It's still a cool book. And the first Kang, right? Avengers? And Kang is going to show up in the MCU, right? He's going to be the big villain. Right? Thanos was the big villain, and now it's going to be Kang. Is going to climax this next phase. I know he's going to be in it. I don't know if he's going to be the big bad. It might be him, uh, or he might be in the wings, and he might be creating somebody else. All right, a bunch of tales to astonish. Captain America's. And I tried to show the name in the boots. This is Toy and Comic Heaven. Give a little shout out for the books we're showing. You can All these uh, places have websites. If you want to go on their websites, or find out the next time they're going to be at a show, or find out if they have a store. Funko is everywhere. Can't believe that trend is still going strong. Funko Pop is just unbelievable. All right, we got vintage comics and toys, and they have a, they have a really nice booth here, right? Look at all these wall books. And we have a whole Scotty Young box. A whole box of Scotty Young. Pretty cool, right? Do it! Do it! And you guys are still, uh, I haven't seen these covers in a while. Invincible Iron Man. Are you guys still hot on the Scotty Young covers? Or do you think it's run its course? Have you seen him? He's actually a good writer right now. All the books he's doing are doing really well. All the indie, he wrote an indie, and he's got the uh, Strange Academy, does really well. Spy Family, look at this, they built the whole living room. And you can take a selfie, you can go in and sit on the couch. Oh, look at this handsome guy, looking around. Was he lost? 
All right, here is Black Dog Collectibles. And they have a cool booth, right? It's pace, it's stepped back, inviting, let you in. Here's my LCS, Bulletproof. There's Hank, he has some kind of a giveaway. People are surrounding him as he's giving away the store. He's giving stuff away. And across the way we have Nick GQ. A friend of the channel and he has Barbie Chula in his booth. And she is a famous horror cosplayer. And she has some uh, warning tape over her table there. And you can get an autograph. I think I'll take a picture with her. And this is the Nick GQ booth. And there she is. Barbie Chula. All right, here's Geek Inc. Comics. And they have a $5 book section here. Pretty cool, right? There's a lot of dollar bins and $5 bins at the cons. And $2 bins, $3 comics. All right? They have a lot of box with a theme in it. I love seeing those Black Magic books, right? This is so cool, Black Magic. Here's Taskmaster. Is his book still hot? Or after that Black Widow movie, did it kind of cool off? I don't know. The Taskmaster in uh, Black Widow wasn't had nothing to do with Taskmaster. It was like a different character. Like, it was kind of all that hype for nothing. It was just hi him and Neem only. Some saga books. Look at these Black Magic books, right? They're terrific. All right, let me know if I'm missing anything in the comments below. If there's stuff that you wanted to see and I didn't show. I tried to break up the uh, videos. I didn't want to make the videos too long, but a Comic-Con is kind of a big deal. So um, I tried to separate it. Is Kino Kunya, the manga store, the mecca for manga and anime, uh, the Japanese bookstore. And we got Merck uh, Publishing. Got the indie, uh, we got Silver Age across the way. And they have a terrific booth. Look at this. David Cassidy books. How cool is that, man? On Charlton? So cool, right? And they are out of Astoria, Queens. Another local booth here. And we'll do a close-up of the Silver Age wall here. Like I was saying, I tried to break up the video. Uh, it's hard not to make these too long because there was so much at the con. But I tried to make this one strictly comic books. Here is Royal Collectibles out of Forest Queens. Forest Hills, right? Comic Exposure. Great idea to have a booth with all new comics. Here we go. New books. And here is the book of the month. Right in the corner there. Book of the month. Let's grab that one. Looks like Junkyard Joe. And this is a new Jeff Johns book, an indie. And it might be in the Geiger universe. I think it's in the Geiger universe. This book is going to be banging. And here is another booth, Christina's Comics. And look at this great booth. Look at all of these slabs. It's like a whole booth full of slabs. Spider Gwen looks like a lot of trendy variants and hip books. And look how they have the slabs sticking up. It's kind of cool, right? In the book there, right? Kind of decorative. I was going to say, yeah, I did this uh, video was comic books. And yesterday I put a uh, video out on Artist Alley. I tried to capture some of the artists there if you guys wanted to see that. There's her sign there so we can give her a shout out. We're looking at her books. Adam Costello. Oh, here we go. Alan Moore Superman. That was a great miniseries, right? Was that four books? Whatever Happened, uh, The Man of Tomorrow. Some more action comics. And I'm going to do maybe one or two more videos. I think I might do original art as one. And I might do a entertainment or pop culture in general. Because pop culture is taking over the con. It's like 70% of the con is just regular entertainment stuff. Not really comics. So I thought I might... I love these dollar bins, right? Go digging in the dollar bins. And bring a backpack or a suitcase and fill it up. <coughs> All right. John Carter of Mars. And this is Heritage Auctions. This is going to be a nice booth also, right? They have some smaller cases here, but they have uh, plenty of big boy books. And there's the safe. Saw the safe behind him? Locked up. 
Buck Rogers, yes. And they got the pre-auction estimate on the bottom of the book. First vision. Uh, was that first Kingpin at Spider-Man? Ra's al Ghul, first Conan. Pre-auction estimate. A lot of zeros on that number, right? Do you see all the zeros? Count the zeros. First Punisher. All right. These are all high-grade books, right? They're beautiful. First Iron Man. Oh, here it is. Here is the EC Comics with the head off. And like and subscribe if you like the material, the content you're seeing here. If you appreciate this video of the, you like the con videos, New York Comic Con. Will Eisner there. And for a big show like this, I thought I'd go to it. And next month, I'm going to go to two other cons, local cons. So let me know if you like that kind of uh, videos, and I will film that. I got two other local cons coming up next month. And here is the uh, JLA. And there's Dr. Fate. He's going to be hot, right? Because he's going to be in the Black Adam movie. So we're seeing a lot of Dr. Fate books. Yeah! USA! USA! And I think this book might overtake X-Men, Giant Size X-Men. It's getting so hot, right? Eastside Comics, they have some new books too. It's cool to see new books, right? If you want to go to a con and grab new books. They have some new books here. Mandalorian, Naked Trade Dress. Look at this. Variants. Highgradecomics.com. All right, cool. And let's check out the Doom Patrol. See what we got in here. Nice, right? And these are all in Mylar. Got to be careful, though. If you run through these really quick, you kind of cut your fingers a little bit. And we got the Flash behind it. Doing some cool Doom Patrols, right? Should we check out the Flash? All right, here we go. There's a local shop, comic book station. They're in uh, Greenpoint, right? In North Brooklyn. And he's got a cool shot. He's got a bunch of slabs, a bunch of keys. Little McFarlane Spider-Man. Oh, Silver Age Shazam. Nice. Harley Yee. He's always here, right? He's got some nice, high-quality books. He's got a bunch of keys, and he's got some bins to dig through. Yes. Challenge of the Unknown. Little uh, Kirby, right? Before the Fantastic Four. Kind of influenced it a bit. Challenges of the Unknown. This is cool. That was legitness. Oh, a Court of Owls book. Look at this. New 52, number one. Court of Owls. All right. And this is a uh, warehouse in Queens, right? Absolute Comics. Not only do they have a store, but you can go to their website and uh, look at their stuff. And they come out to all the cons. Comic Mint. And they have some exclusives here. Let's see how many are left. There's one X is sold out and the rest are available. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. You don't have to go home, but you can stay here. The con's over for today. So like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And I will see you next time.